I just wanted to quickly comment on Ja Morant going to a footlocker and getting in an argument and coming back with nine people asking mall security when this guy got off. That is fucking like, I don't even wild. know. I, I, I loved Ja Morant, but this is kind of like fucking wild because like, not only are you drawing attention to this situation now and this person, but it's just like, you're fucking John ja Morant, dude. Like, why are you pulling up at a Foot Locker trying to act tough? It's fucking Foot Locker. Yeah, it's giving cringe. Like, what? What do? What do you expect the guy to do? Like, fight you at Foot Locker? Honestly, I think that we should start a GoFundMe for this guy to get him a job not at Foot Locker because John ja Morant was bullying him at Foot Locker. Yeah. I mean, I can't help but have PTSD, like, flashbacks for when I was in high school. I used to work at Journeys. That's iconic Haley DeMello lore. I used to work at Journeys in in high school. And there was a video, like, before the pandemic, before Karens were a thing, there was a video of these people destroying a Journeys, like, throwing things at people. Like, it was crazy. And it was just, like, you felt so bad for these people that were working there. And when I saw this, I was just like, oh, dude, like, imagine just, like, not, I don't know who that person was or what the T was, but just imagine being another, like, coworker at the Foot Locker and, like, Yamarant yeah, Morant shows up with, like, nine people. I would be like, <laughs> like, that's so scary. I, I need know. someone to write a rap song. If they were coming to beat you up, like, that'd be scary. I um, need someone to write a rap song about this. It is intense. I mean, I don't know. Uh, well, I maybe maybe the guy deserves to get beat up. We don't know, but I, I think don't know. <laughs> maybe at, yeah, the fo- at the Foot Locker is kind of intense. <laughs> I think that Young Jock should remix. It's going down instead of the mall part. It should be like a Foot Locker specific remix. <laughs> it's a definite idea. You had a Celtics comment before we get into some survivors. Yeah. So, so the Celtics are sick. For sure. Celtics are sick. But here's my thing. And I, maybe maybe it's me. It might be a me issue. And it's very that's very possible. But I went to the bar the other night. Um you? shout out. Yeah, I did. I went to the bar. And uh shout out shout out Maraid for pouring me a strong vodka. Slay Red Bull. queen. Um, that's my and literal I was at the wife. bar. I I was at the bar with our other friend Clara, my buddy. Uh, my no, co-worker. actually, me and Maraid are married. We, she's an ordained minister. It's true. But anyways. That's, that's real news. Um, and the Celtics were on. They were playing the Knicks. I had a jersey on, and they lost. And they got kind of blown out. So now you can't wear it anymore. Well, and I don't know if that's it or if it's just maybe because I was watching. or And the thing is, it's my Tatum jersey, and I love Jason Tatum. He's my Duke boy um i know kendra loves that fact about him uh but you know i was really bummed with that so the celtics are sick but then they lose to the knicks so i'm really nervous about playoff time if they lose to ben simmons on friday you will not hear the end of me at all like that's the thing like this is what i'm talking about because they go into games they should win and then blow it so and i don't hear the end of it from kendra so it's like Haley, i will not shut up if they lose to the fucking Brooklyn Nets on Friday. I can't even think about it. <laughs> Everything's so fine. Excited. Everything's fine. Honestly. The Celtics. the Celtics at the balls. I was going to wear my Jaguars vintage leather jacket to the bar on Friday because I'm going to Southie. Boo, by the way. Um, I now, did not associate with that comment. I disagree with that comment. Now I am considering wearing Milwaukee Bucks gear. On purpose, because I like to cause problems. So if you are listening, or even if you're watching more specifically, um, please note that she is choosing violence. Yes. This is, this is I don't very much peace, a choice. I want problems always. So come, come game day, when she's inevitably tweeting about some crazy stuff that goes down, <laughs> nobody be like, oh, I can't believe that that happened to you, because you are choosing it. Yes. Right now. You but are I'm, I will decision. own that. Um, okay. As long as this doesn't happen to me again. 